Hi everyone, this is the RPA Champion and today I want to show you how you can use Power Automate to automate some processes in your life. So if this is the first time that you are using Power Automate, we are going to take it one step at a time. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start from scratch. We're not going to use a template or anything. The best way to understand how to use Power Automate is just simply creating a simple process by yourself. Now, this process can be changed in different ways. So we are going to click, uh, create a process that is going to be triggered by a click. So we're going to click it and trigger it. And what is our process going to do? Our process is going to send an email to a list of different people that are on a Google Sheet list. So let's create the process. We are going to trigger our process with a click, but we could also have a button on our website, or maybe we could have some other way of triggering this button. In our case, we're just going to go to Power Automate page and click the button and trigger our process from there. So in my, in my opinion, the best way of learning is by example. That's why I'm not spending too much time showing you around the platform. It is pretty straightforward. What is a little bit maybe more complicated about Power Automate is, uh, is maybe the functions or the code that you have to write occasionally. It is a low code platform. So even if you don't know how to write code, you will be fine. So the first thing that we have to do is add a new action and we have to go to Google Sheets. So let's look for Google Sheets. Now, I assume that uh, if you want to use Google Sheets, you have created already a file. But we're going to use a function from the uh, Google Sheet app that is going to get all rows. Now, after we connect to Google, we can search for the file that we want to get all of the rows. In this case, our Excel our sheet is going to have a list of different contacts who we want to send the email to. Now, we can also tell uh, Telflow to select only the first 100, 50, 20 rows, or maybe to skip a few rows. Now that we have created this, let's test it and make sure that power flow is working and that is extracting all of the information from our Google Sheet. So this is what the uh, sheet looks like. We have a few columns, we have a name, an email address that is going to be used to send the email, a different title and some text that is going to be added to the subject of the email. Uh, just to correct this little mistake, all right, and now let's test this and see if it works. So right now I am uh, manually running the test. You can see that this Google Sheet is connected to one of my Google accounts. You can connect it to different Google accounts as well and different accounts and have them interact between one another. Now, let's download the file that was downloaded, see from the test results, and you can see that it, in this downloaded file we have everything that was in our Excel sheet. So that means that so far the automation flow that we have created in Power Automate is working. When we click a button, the data is extracted from a Google Sheet document. Now for the second part of uh, of our training and that is to add to send an email to everybody that is on that list now what we need to do first is we need to add an action so we are going to add an action that is going to go through the list of the different contacts in our google sheets and is going to send an email to each one of them so we will select this and now we will insert a new action. The new action is going to be email and is going to be to send an email. And we can insert 
dynamically the information from our Google Sheets automatically inside of inside of the message for Gmail. So here it's uh, suggesting me that I should insert the email. This is taken dynamically from the email in Google Sheets and this depends to also name your fields. Now let's add the subject. The subject is also going to be dynamic and all of these are dynamic fields. So to access these dynamic fields you would click the little button that I've clicked previously. So now uh, to insert the message we have the possibility or option also to attach a file. Uh, we will not be doing that in this example. Let's just add the ID, the unique ID that is generated for each case that is processed by PowerFlow. All right, now we have created our first flow. And let's save it, test it, and see if it works successfully. So once again, I can see that to which accounts I am connected. And this is the email account. That I will be waiting to receive all of the different emails that will be triggered and sent from the list on Gmail, on Google Sheets. So let's wait a second. So the first part of the process has executed correctly. And now all of the process has executed. Now, if we go to the dashboard of the flow, we can see what is the situation like. And if we go back to the email, we can see that we have received all four of the emails. So each email has a different title, a different subject. It has all of the information. All of the information was dynamically extracted from Microsoft Sheets and it was inserted inside of the email and it was sent. So this is it. We have successfully created an automation with Power Automate that extracts email and information from a Google Sheet and sends a custom message to each contact on that list. Now we could have done this using any other RPA tool, but using Power Automate is very simple. It's simple to manage, it's simple to set up, and as you can see, it's also very in intuitive and easy to use. I encourage you to discover more about Power Automate and to subscribe to my channel to find more about RPA, different tools and different technologies, news and tips, tutorials, and more. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.